doing some arty perspective for some stupid reason, I don't know why. Well, it's nearly Christmas. Cecil's broken up from his pension, i.e. it's his last pension before Christmas, therefore he thinks he's on holiday for some reason. Won't buy me any glasses though, I'm missing a ridge for my face. <coughs> anyway, I'm here today to tell you about a game I like to play. And you can play it too if you get as many advent calendars as I do, which you probably will do. The national average is about 45, 45 is a bit too much, probably even for me. Um, <coughs> now I like to play it normally, but let's just rotate the camcorder. Um, what it is, basically, right, if you get your standard advent <coughs> calendar like this one here, you know, I like to play bingo with it. So, obviously, you start off every day, Jan December the 1st, not January, that's stupid. Uh, that thusly, thus, right, right, I'm not very prepared for December. And then every day you open a door, so you'd go number one, uh, that's not number one, really, but whatever. And then when you get a line of four doors, on this one it was the 16th, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, I've lost it, I've lost it to me now. Uh, where is it now? I'll come back. <clears throat> so, for example, on this, the, 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 the Cadbury's one, the 18th is the first day where you get a full line of four, and then you open it up and you go, oh, I've been counting the bingo! Oh, I've got a bingo! And, and, and then you get yourself a full bottle of Advocar and drink it in half an hour. Um, then Cecil sick down his uh, leggings that were actually his leggings, they were mum's leggings, and they were very tight and oof. Nothing left to the imagination that morning. <clears throat> so there we go, that's Advent Calendar Bingo. Now obviously, you need several Advent Calendars to play it. You can't just do it on one, you know. Um, so you've got to guess. I guessed the Max and Spencer's one would come first. Which it didn't, unfortunately. Uh, Dad guessed the Cadbury's one and that was on the 18th. But then Mother, in her infinite wisdom, because she's... she's a, you know, she's a sharp cookie. She's she's in her 70s, but she's sharp. She chose this one to get the bingo, which is obvious because it's in order. One, two, three, four, five. So when you got to the fifth day, she got a bingo and she got the bottle of Advocats. But then we got one anyway. So. But the problem is now... Uh, look, this cheeky one, there's no door there. And then there's no door there. So how can you do it? And then on this Lindedit one... They're not in order there, they're just tickledy pickled. It really gets me. I mean, on this one, the Madison's Benz is one. It really gets me f f quite vexed. Quite vexed. So, um, maybe don't play it. I'll oh, bash my ankle. Ooh. Oh dear. Let's pull a cracker, shall we? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do it because it's Christmas time. <laughs> Where are we now, to me? To me, to you, with the Chuckle Brothers. There we go. I can't do it. I can't do it. I didn't pop. Every Christmas they don't pop. And the smell. Oh, it's exciting. Oh. <sighs> That's nice, isn't it? Ugh. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Come on, hurry up. Why does it always take so long? What is... Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, it's a miniature. A kinder... Kinder egg. Aeroplane type thing to make. That's amazing. What do you get if you cross Santa with a duck? Santa quack. A Christmas quacker, quack quacker, not cranker, and the crown. Ding dong merrily on high. <laughs> Every Christmas, well, it's not Christmas yet. Well, 